At first it was hidden, but everything came into focus and everybody learned that the, all the issues seemed like the blessing from them winning the lottery would have brought them together. But in actuality, that blessing caused them to fall apart. What are you saying, Mendel? What I'm saying is, sometimes in life, God will see you going through situations in your life and he already know what you're doing. See, Adam, in the beginning, God created the earth out of nothing, which is form is from the word which is called bara. It's a Hebrew word called bara, which means that it was basically created from nothing. Right. And the only one that can do that is God. That's right. Amen. And if you notice in chapter, I mean in verse one in chapter in chapter one, it says specifically, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form. That's right. It was without nothing. It was bara. It was it had no existence, nothing. But God created the heaven and earth without anything, without form or anything. But if you turn your Bibles to chapter two and verses six, I mean in verse seven, it lets you know, and the Lord God formed man of the dust, dust of the ground, formed. So in other words, what I'm saying is, God took nothing and created something. Oh, yeah, all right. But from the something that he created, he created man from the dust. And what I'm saying is, the dust is, let me tell you something about dust. I want to tell y'all something about dust. Dust means fine, dry powder consisting of tiny particles of eat earth or waste matter lying on the ground or on surface or carried by air. I don't know how many people know what a synonym is. Do anybody know what a synonym means? It means basically, if you're not familiar, it means two words meaning the same thing. But there are two different words like, I want to shut that door. I want to close that door. That means both of them mean that the door is being closed or shut. Either way, it still means the same thing. If I tell you to shut the door, you'll understand it. If I tell you to close the door, they're both the same meaning. In other words, let me give you some synonyms for dust that we were created out of. Dirt. Grime. Filth. Smut. And sut. So in other words, what I'm saying to you is, and, and the Lord God formed man from waste. And the Lord God formed man from filth. And the Lord God formed man from grime, sput of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Tell your neighbor... You need to downshift and don't drive drunk. Kids, you need to slow down and don't drink. What am I saying? What I'm saying is Adam was doing good. In, 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 the, in the word, it, it says specifically that Adam had dominion. If you go back, I'm not going to read it, all the verses, but God gave to Adam dominion. He was naming everything and everything. He was doing good. He was doing good. Some of us are doing good. We're doing good. We're doing the things that God has told us to do. And God sees that we, we need to be blessed. And the blessing that he gives us allows us to stop doing what we originally were supposed to do. And our blessing ends up hurting us. Right. What are you saying, Mother? What I'm saying is, if you read Chapter, in chapter 3, verses 6, it specifically said that, and when woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Tell your neighbor, you need to slow down. You need to slow down. And don't drive drunk. What are you saying, Mother? Let me break this down to you like this. And I won't be in front of you long. Okay? I'm a truck driver. 
And being a truck driver, you have different devices. You have different devices in the truck that lets you know. I have to have two GPSs, I've learned. When I first became a truck driver, I only depended on my company GPS because I didn't know any better. Uh, so I had to get another GPS, which anybody that knows about driving, the big daddy of all GPSs is called Rand McNally. It's the top of the line GPS. In other words, what I'm saying is the GPS, the company GPS is designed to take you. It don't know how much weight you have. If you empty, it's going to take you the same direction if you hefty or if you're heavy. It doesn't matter. But in the Rand McNally, you put in there, you communicate to the GPS, and you let it know if you're heavy or you empty, how long are you up. It talk, you talk, you communicate to the GPS, and the GPS lets you know what you need to do. A curve up ahead. Tell your neighbor you need to downshift. See, if Adam was Adam was driving, he was doing what he was supposed to be doing. He was doing everything that God had commanded him to do. And then God seen that Adam needed a wife, a help me. It says it in the word that clearly yeah, said yeah. that God, Adam didn't ask for this. No. If you read, he ne in this particular verse, he never said, God, I want a help me. No. God seen that he needed a help me. So in yeah. other words, what I'm saying is, God already know what we need. God already know what we want. God, all we got to do is continue to do what God's telling us to do. But see, Adam was doing that. And time God blessed him with his blessing. What he seen, Adam forgot. The GPS was telling him, you need to downshift or curve up ahead. You need to slow down. The GPS was telling him. But instead of him listening to the Grand McNally, Go ahead. he was listening to the other one. It didn't give him the warning sign. All right, what are you saying? Remember, what I'm trying to say is when you're driving in life, Paul says it in Romans, and, 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 and he says it best that he said that we are running a race. And in this race, while you're running this race, while you're doing what God tells you to do, you're not, you don't have to ask God for every single thing that you need. All you have to do is keep your mind on what you're doing. And God already knows what he's going to provide what you need. But don't allow that to distract you from doing what God wants you to do. Tell your neighbor, but don't drive drunk. And you don't have to drive drunk. You don't have to drink alcohol to drive drunk. Do you actually believe you have to drive, you can drive drunk? Without you, you have to have alcohol to drink? No. no. Do anybody believe it? No. Let me tell you something. Every day, I'm in my truck and I'm driving. And I, I don't put in my GPS. And I, I listen to my Rand McNally because my even though it say this GPS right here, this I'm gonna use this as a metaphor for my own knowledge, my own understanding. Even though this company GPS is telling me that you can go this way, that way, that way, that way. This Graham McNally is the one that I need to listen to because of the fact that it knows my destination before I even get there. It got a satellite, it's being down. I'm gonna use this as God telling me what to do. So if I'm driving and I'm on the phone with my wife and the GPS is telling me up ahead your turn is there. And my wife in my ear, I'm telling her, look here, baby, I can't listen to you. If I'm driving and I'm not paying attention, I'm going to allow my wife to cause me to drive drunk. And I'm going to miss my car. I'm going to miss my car because I'm not allowing myself to listen to what the TV is telling me to do. And my wife don't understand. I love my wife, but I can't drive drunk. What are you saying, Nando? What are you saying, Nando? What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, when God tells you to do something yes. in life, young men, yes. there's going to be things that you're going to do in life, in school. You're going to be doing what you're going to do. You got your books in your hand. You're doing everything that God tells you to do. You may be having trouble in math. God already sees that you're having trouble in math. He's going to put somebody in your way, but it's going to be somebody else in your ear. This, this nice looking boy, or this, 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 this pair of drawers that you want, that's gonna, that's gonna try to get you to drink, 
from something that's going to cause you to derail from your objective right. of going where you need to go in life because you're allowing that information to dictate what the information yeah. that you already yeah. know you're right. supposed to be going. Yes. Tell your neighbor you need to downshift. And and what I, what all this is, I'm a, I'm a sign, I'm a sum it up like this here. Take your time, take your time. When you're dry, when what what happened with Adam is that he stopped communicating. He stopped communicating with God. Without putting the information in, I told you the great Raymond Nally is a metamorphosis of God. If I don't put the information in my GPS to tell it where I want to go, how is it going to tell me how to get to where I want to go? If I don't communicate with God and say, God, I'm going through this. My wife wants me to eat this fruit. If I don't talk to God, I'm going to end up doing something I have no business doing. I'm going to end up saying something I got no business saying. I'm going to end up acting a way that I ain't got no business because I'm allowing myself not to put my brakes, not to downshift, not to slow down and say, God, I need you. I don't know what to do. If Adam want to communicate, I'll do that. If before that happened, Adam was doing what God wanted him to do. He was doing everything. Well, I'm going to give this man his blessing. He need to help me. What did Adam do? Adam got that beauty in that woman, seeing that beautiful woman, and now forgot. <laughs> we know what it is. We forget. We want a house. We want these child. God, we go to God. Well, God, I'm working. I'm paying my tithe. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. But I want this. I want to be able to, to do this. I'm going to stop telling God. He already know. No, so you no. you stop telling God, and then all of a sudden, God bless you with this job. Yeah. Make it three, four dollars more. Right. And then you work it, and you forget. Yes. Because I didn't get my blessing. I'm right. good. You, yeah. And then you stop putting in your GPS uh -huh. before you leave work. Mm -hmm. Well, God, I mean, you know what's up in front of me. Please protect me. Please keep me. I'm going here. To, I'm going to work, Lord. Keep me covered. I don't want to have an accident. You didn't put in the information. You get in your car, you drive. And you didn't downshift and have more curve uh -huh. that you didn't see. Exactly. And you have an accident. Right. Adam had an accident because he didn't downshift enough time to say, God, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And it called sin for everybody. What, what I'm trying to say, y'all, man, sometimes I'm very blessed yeah. that God blesses us with are the very thing that, that causes us to go back into that sinful nature wow. that we had. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with the person. No. It's our own situation with God, right. our own communication. Right. Mm -hmm. So we need, what, what am I saying to the young people? What I'm saying to you young guys, before you start your day every morning, Get up and talk to your communicator. Yes. Yes. Put your GPS in there. Amen. Talk to God. Yes. Well, yes. God, I'm going to school this morning. Amen. This is what I got to do. Yes. And I guarantee you, Amen. God will warn you when that person is trying to distract you. Yes. It's up to you to listen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's up to you to slow down. Curve yes. up the head. A guy, that go, a guy, that go, that guy, that go. He's right around the corner. You can hear him. Or that female right around the corner. Slow down. Okay, God, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do. Just do what God tells you to do, and God will make a way. Yes, he will. All I can say to y'all, man, Amen. all I can say to y'all is, I'm going to put, I'm going to say this, and I'm going I'm to close. If you think about it, man, about the dust thing, I, 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 I want to use this as an example. Okay. I'm, I'm saying, have anybody ever really thought about dust? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dust is nothing. Mm -hmm. I was told coming up, we were made out of clay. <laughs> the word specifically said dust. Yeah. If dust, yeah. dust that's less than clay. I can see we being formed by clay because clay, but dust. It's so tiny. Go ahead, go ahead. Man, God is so good and go so ahead. great. Yeah. He can take yeah. dust yeah. and form a man like me. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Ain't no way in the world you can tell me the Big Bang Theory created me. Oh, I came from an ape. No. When an ape, if an 
eight, if that's the case, why come eight ain't transformed anymore? You tell me that. Why come they still eight? If we transform former eight, man, I was made, God said I was made from dust. That's the waste of the earth. That's why it says in the words, we ain't nothing but filthy rags. Filthy. It says that the synonym for dust is filth. So don't look at your neighbor just because you uppity and you think you better than him when you filthy too in God's eyes. Don't look at the neighbor and say, oh, go down there and look at somebody on the street corner because they smoking and, and you try to afford them. Well, I ain't giving him nothing. He always on the block. Let me tell you something. That could be your son if you got any. That could be your brother. That could be somebody that you love. God say, I am the one that you denied. How you know that ain't Jesus? Ain't Jesus on testing. How we know? We were nothing but dust. We filth. Yeah. So the next time you think about somebody talking to somebody about something, yeah. and they tell you, man, I got to go. Man, you ain't never feel. <laughs> you ain't nothing in God's eyes. That's all we are. We ain't, I mean, no, I mean, we can be righteous, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, seriously. We can be righteous, Phil. <laughs> but we still feel in the, at the end of the day, in God's eye, we ain't nothing but filthy rags. That's it. Man, I'm going to close like this, y'all. If you don't know God, get to know him. Yeah. God is great, man. Oh, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a day that goes by that I don't sin in some way, form, or another. But there's always forgiveness. If all yes, I got to do is. is go to God and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Name them. Sins of omission and sins of commission. There's blood. If you believe that Jesus died on the cross and he shed his blood for you and you accept him into your life, that's not the that's not the that's not the end. You have to do more. You got to do more. Get a relationship. Join a church. This is a good church. This is a good church you can join. Start coming to church. Fellowship. Get get into get learn what God wants you to do. And downshift. And don't drive drunk. Thank you.